Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to give a presentation on the effects of innovative technology on Hong Kong. In recent years, there has been various innovative technologies such as virtual reality, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, and financial technology, which bring huge influences over the world. In the following presentation, we would like to investigate different effects of innovative technologies on Hong Kong's economy. The application of VR and AR help lower the training costs of some companies. In some cases, training in the workplace may be costly and dangerous. With VR technology, organizations can help take back, cut back training costs by minimizing the chance of making mistakes and reduce risk in training. For example, in the real estate industry, brokers can use AR technology to demonstrate the apartments to the customers. This may help reduce the miscommunications with clients. The companies that develop VR and AR technologies in Hong Kong may enjoy external economies of scale, as VR and AR technology is getting more popular nowadays. So, other firms using the same VR and AR technologies may enjoy lower average costs in marketing. The innovative technologies may replace some manpower. For instance, in the past, salesmen need to bring the individuals buy to the fast. Now we can immediately see the intrinsic design of the real estate by wearing hollow less. So property agents can employ less salesmen. Besides, different industries in Hong Kong try to put AR and VR to produce output more efficiently, as the total man hours employed in production decrease and total output increase. The actual labor productivity of this industry will be increased. Technological innovations will bring external benefits in the economy. For instance, the medical staff receive VR and AR medical training may create external benefits because the, because the patients that they treat may enjoy lower risk of having medical incidents, but the medical staff won't ask for return. The medical staff will only consider to receive VR and AR medical training up to private optimal level. With external benefit, the marginal social benefit is higher than marginal social cost at private optimal training level. Thus, there is underconsumption of VR and AR training. That way loss exists and the market of VR and AR medical training is not efficient. In this situation, the provision of subsidy by the Hong Kong government to this industry may be one of the methods to reduce the inefficiency. The supply of new innovative products has been increasing. The intellectual property rights of invention and innovations are protected through patent. From the past 10 years, the number of patent applications and granted in Hong Kong also increased. The reasons for the increase in supply is contributed by the Hong Kong governments and business tycoons, who are very supportive. They provided different funds to the innovative and technological activities. The demand for innovative products in Hong Kong also increased. The research and development activities in the business sector are market-driven and its expenditure rose in the past 10 years. As a whole, both supply and demand will increase. If the increase in supply is greater than the increase in demand, the price of new innovative high-tech products will decrease and its quantity transistor will increase. The VR and AR industry in Hong Kong is growing significantly, so the, that the, so the derived demand for VR and AR technicians such as software engineers increase. On the other hand, many tertiary institutions in Hong Kong offer related courses to equip people with IT knowledge. Besides, Hong Kong government has worked hard to attract non-local talents and professionals. This can increase the total supply of IT technicians and talents in Hong Kong. If the increase in demand is greater than the increase in supply of ID technician, their wage rate will increase. As the Hong Kong government provides the financial support for the sector, it will reduce the production cost of the sector. This will increase the sovereign upgrade supply and real GDP of Hong Kong in the short run. On the other hand, the productivity of many different industries in Hong Kong may increase with the help of VR and AR industry. 
if the technology, with the higher productivity, the long run aggregate supply will increase, then the potential GDP and the real GDP of Hong Kong will increase in the long run. As the VR and the AR technology is going to the future trend in, in the future, some people are attracted to seek work in this industry. Thus, labor force will increase. However, some of the new job seekers may fail, fail to find jobs in the industry, so the unemployed population may also increase. If the percentage increase in the labor force is greater than the percentage increase in the unemployed population, the employment rate in the VR and the AR industry in Hong Kong will drop and vice versa. So the change in the unemployment rate in the innovative technology industry in Hong Kong is uncertain. To enhance industrial automation and intelligence, some industries in Hong Kong adopt more AI and robotics technologies. The World Economic Forum pointed out that by 2020, some of the work processes like clerical work and construction work will be undertaken by AI. Some traditional jobs may disappear in the future. According to the Stats and Statistics Department, the share of high-tech products in Hong Kong's total export of goods increased by 23% from 2006 to 2016, reflecting the growing importance of high-tech products in international trade. However, Hong Kong had been recording a deficit in its technology balance of payment account in last decade. The deficit reflected reflected that the business in Hong Kong were active to import high-tech products to meet the raising local needs for innovative and technological activities, so as to enhance the competitiveness of the Hong Kong economy. With the help of, with the help of VR and AR technology, some companies in Hong Kong may be able to earn more profit. This may increase Hong Kong's profit tax revenue and even fiscal service. With the rapid development of fintech in Hong Kong, our city is gradually turning into a cashless society. As mobile payment and digital currencies become more popular, people begin to use less cash. Thus, the money demand will decrease and the quantity transacted of money may, may decrease. In 2018, Money supply in M1 is increasing in a slower rate than before. Besides, the online loan applications and more powerful loan an analysis are speeding up the lending process. It can facilitate the credit market and maintain Hong Kong's status as world financial center. Furthermore, crowdfunding could ease the development of different industry in Hong Kong. Some startups that want to develop in uncommon goods or services may succeed, which can also diversify Hong Kong industry. As a conclusion, innovation activity is, is a crucial determinant of competitiveness, productivity, and economic growth of an economy. It is also a key factor to address global challenges and achieve sustainable development. In our opinion, to help keep up international competitiveness, it is significant for Hong Kong to further develop its innovative technology. Hong Kong's capacity to innovate is contributed by excellent connectivity with mainland China and the rest of the world, strong research and development capability, world-class universities, and strong intellectual property protection. The promotion of STEM education in Hong Kong aligns with the worldwide trend of equipping students for the crucial skills like creativity and innovativeness meet the challenges in society and around the world. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you.